Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I'm going to go through these books. Uh, I've completed pictures for July 2020. And I want to show them to you. Okay, that's what this video is about. So let me start with the Kirby Rosanna's book. Oops, I just lost one of my tags. Okay. Uh, and this is what we were working in uh, on color alongs this month. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's get started, and I'll try to tell you what I did with each one. Okay. World Within Worlds. We worked on the moon crater, and we've got a lot of sparkle on the background in the space with the sparkle pop and some white pin and soft pastels and we did a watercolor here and we detailed with pencils this one was strictly um, pencil and uh, i don't think i used watercolor i needed to write down what i've done here uh, a soft pastel of course in the background and um, my stencil that's called scribble and that came out to look like a little spooky sky there. Let me hold it up for the light here. We get a glare in this room. Okay, the next one I want to show you is this. Now, what I did is I've added a couple butterflies. I don't know if you like it or not, but these were stickers from the dollar store, and they're two or they're two dimensional. And I just had to put them in here next to my tree. So. Um, don't know if you like them, but uh, the dollar store's got some great stickers. Anyway, we did this one, too. And let me hold it up. I think I've got it dark enough. I might darken some of the areas of this trunk again. I just thought I might need more contrast. But anyway, that's what it's looking like now. Okay, and then the last one in this book that we worked on was the astronaut and I wound up let me show you what I put on for the glitter here it's really really glittery on my planets it uh, I put something on when we were doing it but then I added to it um, I was going to make some white paint streaks on here and I haven't done it yet but I will to make it look like glass I did take the inner rim there and do it white paint. And then when I get to the, do the strokes here, it'll look like glass on his helmet. That was my idea. Uh, hold on a minute here. I found some other glitters and glitter, acrylic glitter paint that you might be interested in. These are also from Folk Art, and they're called Glitterific, a glitter paint. I will put the name below in the description. I've got silver, gold. I'm not showing that to you. And this is hologram. And so far, I like the hologram the best. It does have a strong odor. Mine are a bit dried up. The silver is. So it's hard. To, both of them are hard to spread. I bought them and never used them until just now. And I'm going to show you what I, where I put the glitterific silver on in another picture. Here I use the hologram, and it goes over any color, just like the other folk art acrylic paint that we looked at. And I did, and it's bigger glitter. It's bigger glitter pieces um, than the folk art, and it's uh, more sparkly. And I did it on my comet there, too. Okay, let's move on to the other books that we worked that I worked in. And I worked in Dra the Dragon Special by Coloring Heaven. When I first got, I had pre-ordered this. When I first, it's it's bent. It came to me from the post office. Bent. This whole side was bent up. So I'm trying to straighten it. Um, at first I thought this was not what I envisioned for dragons, but then as I read this about the dragonologist from the Victorian time, Dr. Ernest Drake, I realized he was drawing pictures of actual animals he saw in different countries of the world at the time, 
Uh, many of them are extinct now. So anyway, I'm liking this book a lot, and I did some pictures in it. The first one I did, or I'll show you, I should say, I didn't do them in this order, is the Sea Serpent. And I did work on this background with a marble stencil to make it look like water with seaweed in it. And I don't know if I've accomplished that, but I did tell you that when we did the background on the other video, I would show it to you when I completed the images, because that makes the background look totally different. So I, I'm sort of happy the way this came out, and I'm happy with my sea dragon. I've tried to go by the descriptions here and make them the colors that the artist said the, the real animals actually are. So... That one is that marble stencil for the uh, background that we made it look like water. This one I did with my other stencil called Shards. And I have description below in, um, uh, on my background video. I'll try to list them there too. You can buy them now. At first they weren't available, but these are available now. So I'll, I'll give you a place to order them. And this is a gargoyle, which I did not realize there were real gargoyles. I did study uh, art history, and I know that all your big cathedrals of the Middle Ages the uh, time um, had gargoyle statues on them. But I didn't realize people were um, copying the actual animal that was alive at that time, which is extinct now. And I did this one with pencil and soft pastels and my stencil with ink, the Distress Oxide ink I did. And then this one also was with soft pastels, and I hold it up with a glare, and ink, not ink, I'm sorry, pencil and soft pastels. And this was also a real animal at one time. Okay, well, let's move on. The next book I worked in was this one from Coloring Heaven, Sarah Kay. And this is just an adorable book. I would love to finish all these pictures. There's 48 in here, and I don't know when I'll get to do that, but I'm going to try working on them. Uh, I did the most pictures in this book. And... Whoops, my tags here are sticking. Okay. Um, let me go first to my first picture. Sorry. Uh, this one I did. And there's some of the hologram extreme glitter paint from Folk Art on this window frame. If you can see the glitter. I used some trusty stencils here. And um, I was at a house one time where they had a brick wall and the window like that through it so they could see into the rose garden from a very wealthy family. So that was what I had in mind, and I made her look like she's outside on the other side of the wall. So I hope I've accomplished that. Okay, the next one I did here was, um, well, I missed the other picture, this one. And... Um, I did a buddy color with Arlene on this one, and I put a sunrise, or sun, I guess it's a sunrise behind her. Okay, and pencil and soft pastel. Okay, then I did this one in the book. Um, she's a girl inside of a barn or something. I'm not sure what. I used some, I, I layered my stencils up here. I used two different stencils and layered them. And I don't know if you like the way it looks. You know, there's no frames on these pictures in this book. So I sort of did something with the background in the bottom here um, to try to accentuate the girl setting on the uh, wooden a crib here with the hay in it and the chickens. So I did this. These are soft pastels and pencil. And then I worked on this picture in here. And same thing, soft pastels and pencil. 
on this. And this is another picture I worked on with my stencils in the sky and soft pastels and pencil and some glitter on the butterflies. And the last one I worked on in here, and this has the big glitterific silver parts, the uh, glitter on the mirror here. I'm going to have to throw those away. They're dried up and it's hard to spread. So I'm going to get a new bottle of them. So, and I did my stencils on the, on the wall to make it look like the wall in her house. And this is a window she's looking out of with her doll. And then I used one of my other stencils for the floor. Okay, the last book I worked in this month was by Shirley Hooper. And Shirley has a channel on YouTube. You might want to check her out. She's an independent artist. And I worked in her book, her mandala book. And I did this one. Just thought the greens looked really pretty and decided to make this different shades of green. Then I worked on this one and we have different colors in this. And this looks white here, but that's not, that's light baby blue. You can't see that on the camera, but this is light baby blue and the Places that look white, they're not. They're light baby blue. And then I worked on this, and I detailed the flowers and leaves. And did this one. And the last, and but not least, I did this mandala here. Okay, well, that's it for the month of July 2020, and I hope you've enjoyed my completed color book pages this month, and all I can say is, until we meet again, happy coloring.